Good evening, Erica. And how are you tonight? Good evening. Will you be able to participate tonight or are you driving home? Actually, I'm at home uh, cooking my, my dinner. Oh, okay. So, thank you for letting me know and enjoy your meal. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, I can see Nelson is also joining the class. Let's just wait for him to connect the audio. All right, here he here there is very good. Good evening, Nelson. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm tired. Oh, you're tired. Oh my goodness. Yes. I wish yeah, I can imagine. So how was how was your day? It's a little hard. A little hard because I yes I just arrived at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I can imagine, right? So, but thank you very much for being here. I truly appreciate your commitment. All right. Thank so, you. Thank you. And then we go with here. Who's there as well? Oh, Vanessa, Vanessa. Good evening, Vanessa. How are you? Good evening, I'm okay. And you? I'm doing good. Thank you very much for asking. I hope you had a nice day. How was your day? Easy because I was on a training all day. Oh, oh. Okay, so you were not basically working, so you were just on training, right? Oh, no, I had to do my work also, so I I was answering some emails and and in the training. Oh, okay. Well, so you got like a double job today. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great. So, well, so we are like, it's already 8 p.m., but I'm going to give just... One more minute to see uh, who else can join the, the conversation so we can start, right? And as every day, you know, I like to practice with one of the, my favorite things here, which is a tongue twister. Tongue, today's tongue twister is actually easier than yesterday, all right? I hope so. And because it says here, it's about doctors. So let's see how is it, all right? Oh, I can see also Adriana is, connect, is getting connected now. So let's just wait for her. Don, it says there. Good evening, Adriana. How are you? Good evening. So how was your day? Mm, it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm, you didn't sound that sure about that. Uh, it, it's because I uh, today I went to the uh, uh, seguro. <laughs> you went to the doctor? Um, it's just like a, um, how do you say, like, a segment? So like, uh, I'm sorry, Adriana, for interrupting, but I'm afraid I cannot hear you very well. Uh, you can hear me? Yeah, it's better. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I, I went to, to Seguro just for, like, a, a segment. Oh, well, let's say, like, um, you know, an control appointment. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. 
see. Yes, she's for for that. But I'm all right, okay. great. <laughs> So, yeah, but I guess like sometimes the stressful part is to wait, right? A lot. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. But thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Oops. I truly appreciate it, right? So thank you for your commitment. Oh, I can see also Holman already joined the class. Good evening, Holman. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Great, excellent. So thank you for being here. I can also see now, um, let me see who else is here, which is going to be here. We're talking now with Adriana, where you say hi to Erica. So we have Jamie in the class as well, Lucy and Vanessa. Good evening, girls. So let's see here, let's start, let's start. All right. Well, everybody, let's just start the class here. So officially, everybody, good evening. Let's just start the class. So today's class is going to be, um, you know, more conversational. We're going to practice more, right? A little bit more than previous classes, right? And uh, let's just start practicing now with this tongue twister, right? So we start with this one that says, doctor, doctors, another, right? So it says right here. Uh, pay attention because you are going to um start here. Here is where you start reading this. All right. And it says, if one doctor doctors another doctor, does the doctor who doctors the doctor doctor the doctor the way the doctor is he doctoring doctors? Or does the doctor the doctor the way the doctor who doctors doctors? Too many doctors. All right. So let's see how you do it. All right. As every night, I'm going to give you two minutes so you can actually you know, um, have the time to practice, and then I will choose some volunteers. It's easy, easy, easy. All right, two minutes now, people. Go, practice, 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 right? If you have any questions regarding the pronunciation, let us know. Hello, Carla, good evening. Thank you for being here. I hope you're getting better. All right, so let's see, let's see. Let's continue, continue, continue. You still have one minute and 30 seconds to practice. And then I will go with some volunteers, right? Remember, it says, if one doctor doctors another doctor, does the doctor who doctors the doctor doctor, the doctor the way the doctor, he's doctoring doctors, or does he doctor the doctor the way the doctor who doctors the doctors? Huh? Easy peasy lemon squeezy, or also as we say, uh, as easy as ABC. But not rocket science is another expression that we can use. Let me just send these expressions here, right? Easy as ABC. That's it. It's not rocket science. Let's see. So rocket science. Some expressions there you can use. Oh my God, 20 seconds, 20 seconds more. And then we're going to choose someone. Teacher is doctor in this case is like the action to examine it or something like that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's actually how can we understand it, right? So mm -hmm. doctor the doctors. Oops, let me stop this one right here. Yeah, as you can see, this one, for example, it says if one of the doctor doctors, all right. So if one of the doctors, doctors. There you go. It's a verb. It's a verb because it's also, as you can see, with the ing. You got it? Mm -hmm. So ready, ready, ready? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Now I stop this one. So then I have some here volunteers. And as Vanessa was asking, so it's a verb? Yes, it is. And it's just like we say in Spanish, atender. You know, 
it's just like that one. All right, excellent. So, uh, Vanessa, would you mind being my first volunteer? Okay. If one doctor doctors another doctor, does the doctor who doctors? The doctor, doctor, the doctor, the way the doctor is doctoring doctors? Or does he doctor the doctor the way the doctor who doctors doctors? All right, excellent. That was actually super nice. You did it wonderfully, all right? Thank you, Vanessa. And now, can you do me another favor and choose the next volunteer? Nelson Antonio. Nelson, thank you, Vanessa. Hello, Nelson. Hello, teacher. It's your turn to pronounce the tongue okay. twister. Okay. If one doctor doctors, another doctor does the doctor who doctor the doctor doctor the doctor the way the doctor he is doctor it doctors. Or does the do does he doctor the doctor the way the doctor who doctors doctors? All right, excellent. Thank you. Easy, right, Nelson? A little. <laughs> All right, awesome. So <laughs> can you please help me and select the next person? Okay, Herman, maybe. Who? No, is there? Who? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Holman, I don't know if he is there. Oh, Holman, yes. He is. Um, Hello, I am, I am Holman. Uh, sorry. No problem. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> uh, Oh, okay. So, um, doctor, doctors, another. <clears throat> if one do, if one doctor, doctors, another doctor, does the doctor who doctors the doctor, doctor, the doctor, the way the doctor is the doctoring doctors, or does the doctor, the doctor, the way the doctor, who doctors, doctors. All right, excellent. Thank you, gentlemen. That was actually a good job. All right, I like it. All right, good job. Now, next person, gentlemen. Uh, okay. Um, uh, let me check. Um, Erica. Hmm. Erica might be in the middle of her dinner, but let's see if she's well, here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and show us how you read that a tongue twister, please. Okay, dice, if one doctor doctors another doctor, does the doctor who doctor, the doctor doctor, the doctor the way the doctor, he's doctor in doctors, or does, the doc does he doctor the doctor the way the doctor who doctors doctors? All right, thank you very much. Nice intonation and also nice fluency. Good job. Who's the next person? Please give me a hand. Okay. Next um, Jamie. Thank you. Good evening, Jamie. Jamie, Jamie. Okay. Is one doctor, doctors, another doctor. That's the doctor who doctors, the doctor, doctor. The doctor, the way the doctor, his doctor, doctors. Or does he doctor, the doctor, the way the doctor, who doctors, doctors. Thank you. And thank you for participating, Jamie. I just saw the message that you all were typing on the group. All right. So you're taking care of your mom, you said, right? Yes, yes. All right, no problem, all right? So that's okay. But if at any point of the class you would like to participate in activity, just let me know so what we can include you, all right? Thank you, Dish. Thank you. I hope she gets well soon. All right, awesome. So uh, who's the next person? Volunteer, please. Hello, hello? Oh, Isela, you. are you in the class already? Oh, who says me? Who was that? <laughs> if one doctor doctors, another doctor, 
Does the doctor who doctors the doctor doctor? The doctor the way the doctor is doctoring doctors. Or does the or does he doctor the doctor the way the doctor who doctor doctor? All right, excellent. Easy, right? So Isela, are you already at home or are you on the way home? In my in my home. Okay, great, excellent. So it means that you can participate a lot tonight, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Excellent. So, well, let's see. And uh, now, who's the next one? Um, okay. Hector. Hmm. Hector? Hector. All right. Very good, Hector. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Let me just connect. Okay. Um, try. If one doctor doctors another doctor, that's the doctor who doctor the doctor doctor. The doctor the way the doctor he doctoring doctors? Or does the doctor the doctor the way the doctor who doctor doctors? There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much on this one right there. All right. Thank you, everybody, for participating. You guys did wonderfully. So that's actually um, a very good job, the one you did. All right. So and now we are going to continue here with the topic for tonight. So as you uh, can see, we have been talking about uh, the different generations during the last couple of days, right? Because this is like what the program includes as a conversation for these classes, right? And I'm happy to like every night bring new activities, even though the topic is very similar, so we get get new information. And also you can actually practice uh, in different ways like this. So let's see, for today's class or tonight's class, so we have a comparison here between the generation X and the generation Y. I know that you are pretty familiar with both um, generations because we have been discussing this a lot, all right? Before we start reading, can you please tell me in your own words, what's the difference between generation X and generation Y, ladies and gentlemen? Can someone help me? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello? 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 Oh my goodness, suddenly everybody went mute. Or maybe my internet connection is not working. I'll check. Hello? The different teacher between general generation? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm, the difference, uh, I think the appearance the cloud is different. Uh -huh. The the general X uh, try dressing uh, formal or or following ruling rule etiquette rule, <laughs> but the general the general Y not don't care the 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 clothes put under under under. Uh -huh. They say no. Nah, the face uh, como se dice como um if the clothes are formal hmm? comodo comfortable comfortable uh -huh. if the clothes are comfortable they don't care if the the colors mixed with the uh, pants and 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 t-shirt don't care the but general x i think you know, it's very important uh the Combination. <laughs> I don't know. He say combine. Um, too much. It would be too much. Too much. Uh huh. Uh huh. This is war. The much too too much. The 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 clothes. The I think it has a a, fee, it, it, a little difference between two generations. Another difference is the uh, the view point of view. But I I uh, my 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 aporte my my participation. My, part, uh, my participation is, is um, in this way, teacher. 
and clothes. Okay, it's about the like the outfits. Okay, thank you. That was actually a good point. Okay. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Hector mentioned something regarding the outfits. Can, can somebody else tell me more information? Like any other difference between both generations, generation X and generation Y? Something that you remember perhaps from previous classes, right? Hey, teacher, um, it ahead. could be generation X, this kind of persons are like more rigid or strict so don't uh -huh. make or do the things like the old way don't don't want to improve the 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 procedures like in generation why because it is this person wants to to do the things in the easy way and more quickly with more effectiveness, effectiveness, effectiveness. So it could be effective. So it could be one, one, one different. And for me, generation X in some cases are inflexible. Also. All right, excellent. So that's very good. That's another one. And I would like to, uh, Vanessa, thank you. That was something that we have mentioned before in classes, right? So that, you know, Generation X is just more like, um, you know, by the book. So they don't by the book. Like uh -huh. Exactly. All right. So in Generation Y, it's just like, you know, whatever is easier for me, right? So it doesn't matter if I follow the rules or not, but if it works for me, I'll do it. All right. Thank you for bringing that point to the table. All right, so, and then uh, I would like to listen to one more, please. Someone else who can tell me another difference that you remember we have talked about um, during the previous classes. Can someone help me with that? Anybody else? Hello, Erica, Adriana, Lucy, Samantha, uh, Nelson, Holman, Fatima, whoever. Any other difference that you remember, please? Teacher, what's many expression redo? And how they deal with with failure. With failure. With failure, huh? Analyze the the, the... it says analyze and yes. redo. So like analyze do it and again, redo. basically. Did you hear me? No, no, no. Uh, repeat please. Sure. Redo means like to do it again. Do it again. Okay. The undo and the and the generation G reflects and breaks the undo. To don't do it the same way, so you change it. Okay. You know, like for example, just for you to get this one, it's just like um you are doing something in a in a specific way, but it didn't work. So you are not going to try again. You are going to change the way you were doing it. So like, no, I'm gonna. I'm not going to do it anymore, let's say, for example. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Thank you. So let's see this one. All right. Thank you, well, everybody, for participating. So uh, let's just go and start reading. So what we have here, the differences, and also we can get some vocabulary. So let's just go ahead and review this one right here, which is this, in a nutshell. Everybody, in a nutshell. Repeat it. In a nutshell. Very good, excellent. And what is in a nutshell? Do you know that? Okay. In a nutshell, it's just like in one word or in a few words, you know? Understood that? Yes. Great, awesome. So, uh, well, can someone help me to read the uh, first paragraph that we have here, this one? Can someone help me read that one, please? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Okay, uh, generation. Yeah, Who's that one? Nelson or Ivan? Uh, well, Nelson, go go with go. The, Nelson, go with the first one, and Ivan, you will go with the next one. Okay? Okay. All right. Exher grew up in the advent of affordable technology. They work hard for the film and place family high on the priority list. They are coming to terms with diversity. 
the multicultural workplace and work-life balance. Thank you very much, Nelson. So now let me just correct some pronunciation details there, such as priority. Repeat it. Repeat, please, teacher. Priority. Okay, priority. Pra, pra, priority. Priority. Mm -hmm. And like this one. It's just like this one. People, how would you pronounce this one? Diversity or diversity? Diversity. Mm -hmm. I pronounce. Diversity. How do you say it? Diversity. Diversity. So let's see if it yes. works like this one. Diversity. That's correct. Thank you very much for confirming. Diversity. All right. So, and then this one right here. Is, um, what is this? This one. Uh, that was that was that was just like the two words you want to check. All right. So that's it. So good job, Nelson. Thank you. Now let's go with okay. Ivan, right? So Ivan, we went with number two, which is this one we have right here. Okay. Technology and information is co commonplace, right? Commonplace, correct. Commonplace. G's jungle is a ethic. Juggle. Juggle a, a, a ethic. Hetic. Mm -hmm. Oops, yes. A jungle, a headed, headed, heading, work and social life. They are highly networked and connected. The multicultural and the, the diverse workplace is a norm. And they enjoy working collaboratively in teams. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you very much, guys, for reading uh, those paragraphs. As you can see here, there is a, a little bit, I mean, some differences, right, that we can check here. So, for example, it says the Generation X, they grew with the technology. So every new device that um, scientists were releasing or companies were releasing, they learned how to, how to manage that one, right? So, for example, if you think about this one, people who is already in their late 40s or 50s, they grew up with typing machines, they use computers, they use tablets, they use cell phones, they use every technology that you can imagine. And, you know, talking about music, they were actually able to use the Walkman, the Discmans, then they moved to MP3, etc. right? So every new technology device uh, that, was, that was released, they actually were able to um you know to to use it to learn how to use it and to move forward right so they are more stable when it comes to jobs mm -hmm. so they can be in the same place for a longer period of time because it's a belief that the longer you stay in a company um it is it, it talks better about you about you being responsible all right on the other hand we have generation y which they were born after all the technology was basically developed, right? So nowadays they know how to use different apps or programs to develop things in an easier way, right? Especially now with the artificial intelligence, right? Have you ever used artificial intelligence, people? Yes. Just GPT, yes. for example. Exactly, right? So you can use all those, um, you know, chatbots now to get information, vocabulary, questions about, I mean, answers for questions that you didn't even imagine you had, right? So in all those type of things that you can uh, find nowadays with technology, but sometimes, you know, there is like the difference between both generations. They are not going to like, for example, someone from the generation X will not trust 100% what a chat put will tell, right? So they prefer to talk to someone or to read it on a book, et cetera, right? On the other hand, Generation Y or the millennials, right? They just use chat GPT and then whatever it says, it's valid. Yes or no, people? Yes, definitely. All right. Good. Excellent. Thank you guys for helping me with that one. Let's just go and check the next one right here, which is going to be here. How are how they are motivated? All right. So let's see. This is shorter. Can someone help me to read this one? It's just this part here. How do you motivate someone from the generation X? Can someone tell me? Can you read it? 
career pro pro policies leverage uh -huh. opportunity for promotion. All right. So how will you say this one? Lever aging, lever aging, lever aging. Uh -huh. How do you pronounce this one? Uh, le leverage, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how would pronounce this one? So it would be just like this one. Leveraging. Did you hear that? Leveraging. Repeat it. Leveraging. 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 All right. So, like, uh, you know, you actually, uh, we're talking about the jobs, of course, right? So, Generation X and Generation Y motivated in a job. Of course, they look for career progressions, right? So, they normally like to take a higher position. They like to be promoted, right? That's how you motivate them because otherwise they feel like they are not doing uh, good and they, they lose motivation, right? That's why uh, the word that we just pro pro pronounced right now, leveraging, all right? It's about taking advantage of opportunities for a promotion, right? So what this is telling you, it's like if they find, when they find out, that there is a, a vacancy, so they go and they apply for it because they want to prove that they are capable to do it, right? On the other hand, we have here um, the millennials or the generation Y that they prefer job variety or creativity, right? So, so millennials are not attracted by a title. Let's say, for example, the manager, the supervisor, or anything like that. So they prefer to be more um you know to to have many things to do right or to have different things to do because they like to keep themselves busy all the time right more than a promotion thank you let's go with the next one right here which is says how they communicate we were talking about that previously all right uh, but it's not actually um like the way we were saying before about technology or devices that you use to communicate it's just about uh, getting uh like communication in the workplace. As you can see here, they actually said this one. It says, define boundaries. What is boundaries, people? Can you tell me what is it? Boundaries? Hmm? Hello? Any idea, yes or no? Hello? It's like a uh, stop uh, in anything. All right, so basically limits, all right? That's it, that's it, that's it. So like, for example, um, like um, I have noticed that in, uh, um, you know, in my previous job, for example, uh, when like the generation X uh, and you were trying to te send a text message after working hours, they never reply. And if they did, they were angry. They would say like, I'm not working. Don't talk to me like that. On the other hand, um, Generation Y or Millennials, they don't actually um, respect that one, right? So they just go and like, if you are available, or if you have WhatsApp, they try to contact you, they try to call you because they actually are a very sociable um, group of people, right? So then you go over like, let's talk about the leadership style. How are the leadership here? According to this image, it says here that they are directive. They lead from the front, IQ focus. So they actually focus on intelligence right here, right? They lead from the front. So like this one, please look at me, look at the way I do it. This is how it's supposed to be done. I'm your reference, you know, that's actually their leadership. And on the other hand, it will be like the generation Y, which is like they involve, they participate. They try to ask you, they try to make you feel involved in this one. They ask you questions like, so guys, what do you think about this one? So guys, um, do you think it would be okay if we do this or if we do that one? All right. So they try to make you participate so you can feel involved, right? Um, Let's see, in the last one, they actually try to like balance like, you know, talents with intelligence. They don't focus only on how smart you could be, but also they take advantage of other talents you might have. Now I have a question for you, people. Um, in your job places, um, or your workplaces, do you have uh, millennials in the management positions or not? 
Hello? Yes, he's sharing my my company. Yes, we 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 have a, a millennial in a management position as a boss. Yes, yes. All right. And and, and what would be your opinion about the leadership that person has? It's a person. I mean, is the person particip participating? I mean, make you participate in the company, or they just make decisions, or how is it? Can you tell me? No, also the the manager take participation with the with the supervisor, with the another manager, manager floor. Mm -hmm. The floor and, manager. Floor manager. And also with, with the supervisor and employees too. Employees too. Oh, that's actually nice, right? Right. So super he nice. Say, yes, he says, hey, if you if you need something, you hold, you only looking for me or call me, whatever you want, and if I can help you, I do it. All right, great, excellent. Thank you, thank you for sharing that. So that's actually, you know, kind of like validating what we are discussing here tonight. Thank you. Then let's go to this one, how they deal with failure, which is the vocabulary that Ivan was asking at the beginning of the class, right? So what's the meaning of redo or undo, all right? So the word redo, as I was explaining before to Ivan, it's about to do it again, all right? So maybe this didn't work, so I wanna do it again. Um, like for example, you try to apply a methodology in your job, but it didn't work. So you try to analyze what could have happened and then you uh, try to do it again or you try to implement it again. But what happens with, for example, with the generation Y, they get disappointed and they don't do it again because it didn't work. So it didn't work, it didn't work. So don't try it anymore, all right? So that's why it says like reflect and press the undo. So like, mm -mm, you know, the undo, it's actually an option that you can find in Microsoft Word. You know, when you make a mistake, you just click on undo and it changes to what it was before. Have you ever used that option, people? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you familiar with that option? Yep. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So, and then let's go what the last one, all right? What happens with the last one right there? That says, what happens if they don't know? If they don't know, what do they do, all right? So uh, it says here that they research and analyze, uh, talking about Generation X, so they like look for information. And then um, this one's right here, which is this one. It says they refer to social network. And this is actually true. Because I don't know if you remember this, but oh, have you ever paid attention to this one? That sometimes when people have questions, they go to Facebook and they said, can you tell me a recommendation for this and this? And then people start comment commenting the post and, and they are giving the recommendations that people were asking for. Have you ever seen that on social media? Or you have never noticed that, people? Hello? Facebook teacher? No, it's not social media. No. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you, Ivan. Can you repeat it? No, I say uh, the Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I was telling you, like, sometimes there are some people that they post on social media that they have a problem with something or that they are looking for a recommendation. And, um, you know, they that's the way they look for solutions. They go to social media. They go to social networks, right? Uh, instead of looking for the information by themselves, they go to social media. So, for example, um, personally speaking, sometimes... Um, there are some people that might say like they text me and says like, "Hey, teacher, excuse me, how do you say this in English?" Right? And sometimes you're wondering, okay, so I can definitely help you, but you also can use a dictionary, an online dictionary or translator 
to do it yourself. But sometimes it's easier just to make the question because they are so used to that one. It's not because they are lazy. It's because that's part of their generation, all right? Understand what I'm saying, people? Well, after this silence, I will assume yes. All right. So let's see here. Let's move quickly to the next activity here. All right. So for the next activity, we have here a reading, a reading, reading, reading that we're going to be just working out here. And this is actually something that I really, really like to do with you guys because it helps you to increase your vocabulary and to practice the pronunciation right here. Take a look, take a look, take a look. All right, so let me know when you can see the new screen. Excellent, that's the one. So guys, tonight we are going to practice reading. All right, so to practice reading here. Let me read it for you first. I will read all of the paragraph you can see here. And then I will be asking for some help so you can repeat paragraph by paragraph. So let's start with this one. It says, Generation X and Generation Y, also known as millennials, are two distinct groups in the modern workforce. While both bring unique strengths to the table, there are noticeable differences in their assessed and approaches to work. Generation X, born between the mid-60s and the early 80s, it's often praised for their strong work ethic and resilience, having experienced economic challenges and societal changes. They are known to value stability and loyalty in the workplace. Additionally, Generation X tends to possess excellent problem-solving skills, adaptability, and the ability to manage multiple tasks simultaneously. On the other hand, Generation Y, born between the early 80s and the mid-90s, tends to display impressive technological proficiency and a strong desire for innovation. Their asset lies in the ability to embrace change and quickly adapt to new technologies. Generation Y individuals are often characterized by their entrepreneurial spirit, creativity, and collaborative approach to work. They thrive uh, in environments that encourage teamwork and provide opportunities for personal growth all right do you have any question about vocabulary people yes or no right mm -hmm. any question okay now we are going to a uh, uh, start practicing like how you you read this paragraph all right so can someone help me here people to read the first paragraph which is paragraph number one this one right here somebody who wants to help me please Hello, hello. Hey, All right, Fatima, go ahead. Generation, generation X and Generation Y, Generation Y, also known as millennials, are two distinct groups in the modern workforce. While both bring unique strengths to the table, there are noticeable differences in their assets and pro approach to work. Approaches to work. Approaches to work. Thank you very much. I have a question just for you, uh, Fatima, that were helping me to read. By the way, I thank you very much for this. How do you pronounce this word? Generation. Okay, excellent. So that's actually very close. So we're going to go to this one right here. Take a look. So it says like, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to type there. How do you pronounce it? So we're like, je, ne, re, shen, like that. Generation. Can you read it, Fatima? Genera generation. All right. Remember that this art right here, this one it has to be pronounced like in English. Re, all right. Re, generation. 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 Re. Re. Exactly. All right. Red, red generation. generation. All right. You did it good. You did it good. All right. Awesome. So we're going to remove this one here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any other volunteer for the second one right now, which is going to be this one right here? Second paragraph, please. Help me to read. Hello? 
Hey, everybody, please Baby. help me to read. Who said me? Vanessa. Okay. Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. Go ahead. Okay. Generation X born between the mid 60s and early 80s is often praised for their strong work ethic and resilience. Having experienced economic challenges and societal change, they are known to value stability and loyalty in the workplace. Additionally, Generation X tends to possess excellent problem solving skills adaptability, and the ability to manage multiple tasks simultaneously. Thank you very much. Excellent. So you did a very good job when it comes to the um, pronunciation, right? And uh, you were doing good job, I mean, good job respecting punctuation, like periods and commas there. So thank you. Good job. You did it wonderfully. All right. And now, well, we have a volunteer for the last one right here. Or will Vanessa select it? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Awesome, Ivan. Go for it. Okay. On the other hand, Generation G were between the early 98s and mid 19, 1910s to display impressive technological profici professionally, proficiency. What? Proficiency. Proficiency, thank you, yeah. and a strong desire for innovation. The mm -hmm. actor lies in their ability to embrace change and they quickly adapt to new technologies. Generation uh, G indeed dwells and often characterizes by their entrepreneurial spirits, creativity, and collaborative approach to work. The three environments that encourage teamwork and provide opportunities for personal ground. Thank you very much. All right, excellent. So, um, I have a question for uh, Ivan and for everybody else, of course. What's the meaning of this word right here? Try. What is it? Try. Hmm? Good question. I don't know. All right, that means just like prosperar. Prosperar o desarrollarse bien. All right, that's why it says here, they thrive in environments that encourage teamwork. So ellos, ellos prosperan o se desarrollan mejor en eh, ambientes donde se eh, promueve all right, el trabajo en equipo. That's what it says right there. All right, thank you very much. I have a question for you, everybody else. So tell me, do you have any questions Vocabulary, anything that is not clear. Hello, hello. No questions. Em, embrace, em, embrace. And the right. second second sentences, the, the last one paragraph. Okay, excellent. So before I tell you that, let me just verify if somebody else knows the word. You know what is embrace? Mm -hmm. Which one did he? He says embraced. Is it the second paragraph, right? Yeah. Let me let me highlight it there so you can see it. Uh, uh one second. It's just this one. Embrace, you said, or where is it? What line is it? One, two, three, four. Oh, you mean praise? No, no, and the, the last one, in the last one paragraphs. Oh, the last paragraph. Yeah, okay. in second sentences. Uh, second sentence. They are accent, technology professional and a strong desire for innovation. They accept life. Embrace, embrace, embrace. What's embrace? Embrace, embrace. yeah. Mm -hmm. in, in this context, it will be a synonym of adapt. You got it? All right. Adapt. Like that. Adapt. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got it now? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Great. No problem. Uh, any other question? Teacher tense is like tendencia. Tense. 
Mm, let me see. What paragraph are we talking about right now? One, first. two, three. The first. Tends to display impressive. Uh, I'm trying to see here. You said the, the first third, paragraph? The third paragraph. Oh, the third paragraph? First sentence, yes. Okay, I guess I saw the word you're saying. It's this one, right? Yes. Yes, it's about tendencies, just like, you know, as you will say before, tender a. All right. Any other word? It's the time for you to ask. Teacher, in the in the last paragraph, in the last second, paragraph, uh -huh. and, um, it says technology called proficiency. But what means proficiency? Uh, I'm sorry, I, Adriana. It's just like that. I couldn't hear you. So, what is the okay. question you have about the last part? Can you hear me now? Better. Yes. Okay. And the set, in the last paragraph, in the second yes. line, technology okay. proficiency. Proficiency. That's the word you want to see? That's the word you want to yes. know about it? Yes. Okay, excellent. So, uh, before I tell that word, anybody else know that one? No? Uh, um, uh, like a championship or competition, kind of like All that. Right. Mm, you know what? If you go to Google Translator and translate the word proficiency, it might say competencia. That's why maybe you got in, uh, that idea. But it is actually related in this context with the skills or ability to do something. You know, it's just like having the skill. That's why if you... um. If you read the sentence, it says, tends to display impressive technological proficiency, which in other words will be, they tend to display impressive technological skills. You got it? It's like uh, skills or ability. Yeah, no, skills or abilities, correct. Mm -hmm. If why uh, you said the ability or skill? I will say skills in this one because it's about knowledge, you know? Mm -hmm. Ah, knowledge. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for asking and thank you for answering, uh, Adriana and Erica. Any other question before I move to the next activity? Yes or no? Desire. What paragraph is that one? And the same proficiency and a strong desire for innovation. Desire. Desire, it's a synonym of what, people? It's like a wish. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. want to do something, well, like el deseo de innovación or the desire to innovate, right? Thank you. You're welcome. You got this one here. Oops, 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 oops. All right, excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, ready for the next activity then? Ready. Great, excellent. Because I'm going to, right now, and share this paragraph here in the, um, in the WhatsApp group. One second. The screen here. There you go, this one. Keep it there to see if you remember this one. Are you sure one more time that you don't have questions about this? No, okay, I will send a short paragraph there. Right, and now, I'll go in actually. Oops. One second, please. Yeah, you see the new screen, people, or not yet? No, yet. Que la Fatima te lo puede hacer también. Solo. Bueno, desde hace rato le estaba pidiendo, le estoy pidiendo la factura y ahorita 
Oops. <laughs> Oops. The traveling your house. <laughs> Things were actually um out of control. Self-control. <laughs> Generation X, Generation Y. <laughs> All right. So now let's move to the question. So we have 10 questions right here that you guys are going to discuss. All right. So into like answer based on the paragraph you were reading before. The paragraph is already in the WhatsApp group. So you can take a look to that one. I'm going to also send these questions to the WhatsApp group so you can have them there. All right. So. And you can see this one here. One second. I'm sending this again. All right. And then we're going to go to the breakup room. So you can work in couples or in group of three. And then you can uh, discuss the possible answers for these questions. Okay. So um, let's review the questions. So just making sure that you understand them. And then we are going to move to the breakup rooms. So question number one. It says here, what are the generation X and generation Y? often refer as okay ladies and gentlemen this is important right here what is just like that do you understand the question uh-huh what is what does it say the question number one what does it say ladies and gentlemen any idea that's important actually to have a good um a good answer right Hmm. It's something like what you can with which thing you can compare or something like that. Well, let me just use a little bit of the Spanish so we can translate it better. Would be just like um as it says right here, como se suele eh, denominar, all right, to so generation X and generation uh, Y. In another way to ask the question will be, what's your definition of generation X and what's your definition of generation Y? Understand? Yes or no? Okay. Basically, I'm asking you to define in your own words or based on the paragraph, what is generation X and what is generation Y? That's the question number one. Number two, it says there, what are some traits associated with Generation X in the workplace? What is that, people? Can you tell me? What is the question asking? What are some traits? What is the word traits? Any idea? Is la in Spanish rasgos characteristics? Oh, characteristics. Characteristics exactly. in English. Exactly. Thank you very much. A characteristic. So it says right there, what are some characteristics associated with the generation X in the workplace? So things that you can actually um, mention, you know, that they were in the second paragraph, I guess. All right. So you can actually see that over there and give the answer. So number three, what strengths do generation X individuals possess? So what are similar to the previous one? What are some of the positive characteristics? that they have. I have a question for you, everybody. What is strength? Let's see if you remember that question, that, that word, strength. What is it? Like that one, or abilities you have, exactly. Thank you very much. So what's what about the number four? What are some notable characteristics of Generation Y? So just describe them, basically. In number five, it says, what makes Generation Y stand out when it comes to technology? Aha, uh -huh. look at the way I'm asking the questions. I'm trying to use a more complex structure to ask you something that you might know in a different way. All right, so what makes Generation Y stand out when it comes to technology? All right, Fatima, can you help me and tell me what is the question number five asking? Um, como la generación Y, cómo es con la tecnología, 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're very close. ¿Cómo, yeah. ¿Cómo la maneja? Yeah, like that one. Vez? Very close to that one. It would be just like, ¿qué distingue to Generation Y when it comes to technology? All right? So, oh, why is Generation Y better than with technology than the other generation? So, you were very close, Fatima. Thank you on that. Number six, it says, what kind of work environment does Generation why Excel in? I have a question for you, everybody. What's the meaning of Excel in? So, Erica, what do you mean by Excel? And uh, what does it mean actually Excel in? Mm -hmm. Hello, Erica. Yes, it is kind of like to be good or to be skilled in some topic. You have an outstanding performance, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Number seven, what is one specific trait that Generation Y is known for? Remember what was trait? I told you what was trait. What was trait, people? It's in the chat. Mm -hmm. What is trait? Hello? Fortaleza. Excuse me? Fortaleza. No, he's in the chat, in the Zoom chat. You said trust the characteristics or characteristics. features? Oh, yes. Features. <laughs> yes, thank you. All right, so <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, the strength it would be like fortalezas, honey. Um, they would be like this one. All right, so number seven. Um, what is one specific trait the generation why it's I'm sorry that was the one I was reading before oh my god sorry number eight how does generation X approach problem solving how do they solve the problems that's from the first picture all right then number nine uh, what values are important to generation X when it comes to work so related to the job what actually are the important values for generation X and the last question what common attributes do Generation X and Generation Y have in the workplace? Not in common, individually, separately, all right, but uh, they have for the workplace there. So before I send you to the um, uh, breakup rooms, do you have any questions? Ladies and gentlemen, Yes or no? Hello, hello? No? No, no, maybe later. Maybe later, don't worry. All right, I will send you to the breakup rooms. I will try to like make you participate in couples and it's for some reason, someone is not able to participate because they are just listeners. Let me know so I can make some changes. But the purpose is remember to practice uh, now talking, answering those questions, right? Excuse me. Okay, here you go. All right, the invitation has been sent. Please join the rooms. Join the rooms, join the rooms, join the rooms. Oops. Please, please, please. Thank you, everybody, for joining the rooms. I have Jamie in room number five. Mm -hmm. With Carlita, but Carlita cannot participate. Mm -hmm. We'll make some changes later there. Lucy, Nelson, Vanessa. Can you participate or not? Are you going to listening?
thing. Thank you, Lucy. If you can actually join one of the rooms later, I truly appreciate that, all right? Well, let's go to room number one. So, well, it's a sort of practicing. I want to hear you. The question just, just how I discuss or how make a, a presentation. More than making a presentation, it's that you need to um, find the answers in the paragraph and the information that we previously uh, discussed, all right? So you can, at the moment that I ask for some volunteers, you can answer one of the questions there. You got it? Okay. So you have to check the paragraph to answer the questions. Comma, what are generation X and generation Y often refer to us? What are <clears throat> referred to us? Um Mm -hmm. Generation X bro, between the the mid the mind the middle nineteen sixty and early ninety eight. Generation J. Ah, well, our little bit. Our generation J. Uh, J. Oh, white. White. Generation white. Born be between the Early nineteen eighty and mid eighteen ninety. Ah. Mm. So generation X is is older than the generation Y. Ah. Okay. I think the both generation refer to us as millennials. Um, yes, as millennials. I think. In just the yes, the 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 generation X and K. So is generation X is between the the mid nineteen sixty and early. 1980. Okay, okay. Questions at the moment? Uh, no. 
Okay, continue, please. What are some trains associated with the generation X in the workplace? What are some trains? Do you remember the word, the, the meaning of the word traits? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like a qual, qual, quality? Mm -hmm. right. Yes. What yeah. are some names associated with the generation X? X. Generation X is often place for the strong work ethic and resilience. and have, have experienced economic challenge and social change. Uh, stability and loyalty in the workplace. Generation X tends to Possess excellent problem solving skills adaptively and okay. So I understand the the generation X how how good uh good, a good way to to resolve the problems. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are millennials. You have, uh -huh, you have. Yes, yes. Okay, the second one. Ah, what are really? some traits? No. What are some? I guess. The, what are? The, what are some traits? Traits. Traits. Are how do you put traits? Traits is a. Uh... I not remember capacidad, no. Yeah, kind of skills. Are you sure? No, teacher. No, no. Can I not. We can share it on uh, World Reference. Aha. No, I don't know. Yes, I think it's. World Reference. This one. Right. Right. Ah, characteristics. Uh huh. Characteristics. Uh huh. So that's it. But there are some, my goodness, trait, trait. Some trait. Generation at workplace, okay. For we take on place and strong work, ah, a strong work ethic and resilience. Resi resilience. Res resilience, 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 or resilience, resilience. Ah, resilience. Ethic and resilience, yes. Resilience is a capacity, capacity for, um. Okay. Uh, yeah. Solve the problem, I think. Can you uh, mm -hmm. help, so adapt, adapt to the problem, to solve problem. Yeah, how to change fast mind. What the strengths do generation X individual process? Processes. Individual? Yes. It says individual process. Processes. No generation X or general Y. Generation, generation X, the number three. Generation gener gen generation X. Okay. Strength to generation X. 
what is what do you mean strength strength do strength okay let's check it strength i'm sorry but i use strength strength uh-huh can you see it what it is could be force resistance to force positive characteristic a person the best did you see my my screen right this is it from so, hello yes the translation is very complicated <laughs> Yeah, but well, is your let, for let, me, let me help you with that one. So strength, it's an ability that you have to do something. Um, for example, uh, and strength can be like you're good with typing skills. You have um, you are a person who can actually speak in public with no um problems, right? Etc. Right? It's like your biggest ability. Let's say, right? Is that clear? It's similar to the. To, teacher, it's similar to say, um, what did you power <laughs> to superpower? What is to superpower? Superpower, yeah, like that. You know, in a in a well, strength will be used in a more formal way, let's say. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the strength do generation X individual process? Mm -hmm. Okay, in addition, says having experienced economic challenges and social social change. Social change. That I know to value stability and loyalty in the workplace. Additionally, the generation X tends to possess excellent problem solving skills, adaptability. And they have then the ability to manage multiple tasks simultaneously. Nelson Gatsa? Oh, did they? Did they? The strengths. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Those are the strengths. Those, mm -hmm. like, how to say? Adaptable, adaptably, and work uh, is strong. No. Trabajo duro is it work hard. Work hard, yes. Work hard. Work, work hard. hard. I think work hard. Huh? Yeah, they are. Probably so be the skills, adaptability, and the teacher question ability. It it has an age at the beginning of the word. No, not in English. So you told me that I have been writing bad. That word. No, in in Spanish uh, it does have an age. In English it uh -huh. doesn't. It does. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number four is the Nelson. Nelson is in the group. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, I guess he was like coughing, you know? Oh. I have a problem. Are you okay? It's, no, it's uh -huh. difficult. Use it. Use it, but use the cell phone. Oh, all right. I have. A, I, I prefer to use the computer, and the cell phone. I it's very difficult. I tried uh, to. Uh, oh, which, which, which generation you are, Nelson? Are you Nelson? Nelson? Hello. Which generation are you? 
my generation. Yes, I yes. Ex, ex generation. Are you a millennial? You are, yeah, no, you are a millennial. Mm -hmm. But yes, what yes, generation but... are you? You are, Erika, you are generation Y? Are you generation I, Y? I'm a millennial. I'm a millennial. Oh, wow. You are a millennial. I, I'm asking you because I prefer to use the phone, <laughs> not the computer. <laughs> really? Even, even the, 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 the iMac, the, the, the iPad is better. Ah, oh, I think, I think, but I don't have an iPad. Or the, the tablet, a tablet. Oh, the tablet, yes, yes, it's, mm -hmm. it's possible, but I prefer the computer. Um, I prefer use the mm -hmm. cable, use the mouse. The finger is very difficult to use in the, on the on the cell phone or or um, tablet. Difficult. I prefer to use uh, keyboard. Espérame. All right. So, guys, I will go to a different room. If you have questions, just call me. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for participating. Good job, by the way. Okay. Okay. What is the qu the question? The next question, Erika. What? That you're not working anymore <laughs> because you are old. Um, yeah. Understand? See, uh, I talking to my 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 classmate. Uh, maybe. Uh, any characteristics the generation X is the the person in the in the workplace is is la, uh, loyal loyal yes loyal in the in the in the company uh, I know many people uh, they have uh, years in the company working as uh, they have leaderships, positions, faithful. What is the, the pronunciation in the English? Fearless. Loyal. In their, loyal. Loyal, the Alice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In their jobs. The, the thing is like, if, you, if you're, are you trying to use the word faithful? Faithful but, is la is, because it, that that's like fiel, but like in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Ah, the ah, relationship. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. that's why it's better to use loyal because it's like more business oriented. Loyal. Okay, loyal in their jobs, their life, their jobs until they retire. The number three. Number three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is the strange to generation X individual process? process? Remember that you don't say a strange, you said a strength. Ah, a strength. Correct. Like, like the TH at the end. So like, look at me right now on the camera. Uh, It'll be like strength. Strength, strength. Exactly, like that. Good. The strength, the generation X individual poses. Poses. What's meaning the, the, the question three, teacher? 
¿Cuáles son las fortalezas que hacen a la generación X eh, poseer individuo? I don't know. Poses. Mm -hmm. no, don't worry. I will translate it for you right now so you can actually check it. All right. So as I was saying before, this one is just like, um, what you said, for example, ¿Qué fortalezas poseen? That's it. Los individuos de la generación X. Ah. Mm -hmm. I think the, the generation X is, is, is break <laughs> in the different contexts the, the, the life. <laughs> It's life, you said? Yeah, life. Okay. Uh, I mean, besides that, what else? Like based on the paragraph, remember? I sent you the paragraph that we were reading. So you can actually take the answer from that paragraph. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. Ah, okay. Okay, they, they, they are a resilience. Resilience, okay. What Resilience. else? Resilience. Ah, it's um, in, 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 in the comparison, comparison, no, no. Compared to. Compared to, and the mm -hmm. generation X, and compared to the other generations, in, in my opinion, generation X is, is, is resilience. Uh, for example, a uh, uh, people the generation X uh, divorciarse divorce right no they get they get divorce they get divorce Correct. they get divorce yeah uh, yeah okay uh, no problem it's okay come uh, la vida sigue con ser life continues life thank you life continues uh, currently in the generation is uh, down in depression <laughs> and science. <laughs> yeah, it's true, right? So they actually do it like um, in that way, of course. All right. So, and it's true, like what you're saying, like, well, actually, if you're talking about relationships right now, um, I will say that that's also different from generations, right? Because, for example, a Generation X, most of them got married, even though, as you said it, they got divorced, but they 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 got married. Nowadays, nowadays, a Generation Y or Millennials, they don't want to get married. Yes, ah, or no? yes, it's true. Uh, mm -hmm. No, 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 get married. Yeah, they don't want to get married, right? So that's what happens there. Mm -hmm. It's true, it's true, it's true. It's true. It's true. All right. Any other question? If not, I will go to a different um a different room so you can I can continue helping other people. Okay, no problem. All right. If you have questions, just call me. I'll be back here immediately. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Continue, please. Thank you. Take work our time. Without complaining, complain. Um. I, I think, I think it's it's okay. The technology, because. Hello, everybody. What question are you answering? Um, Number um, seven. The seven. All right. Do you have any questions about vocabulary or any other questions so I can help you with that? No. No questions. Uh, maybe the the word approach. Approach. You have questions with the word approach. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Excellent. Well, um, the word approach has different meanings, right? But in this case, would be. At you know, in the in the context, it will be el enfoque. Mm -hmm. And 
problem solving is like uh, resolver problema. Mm -hmm. So you, you are in the question number seven, you said, right? Or which one? Number eight. We are in the seven, but next, the eight. Okay, yeah, no problem. So the question eight, that the one you're asking the vocabulary for, it's, uh, como la generación X se enfoca en resolver los problemas. That's actually what it says. Thanks, teacher. You're very welcome. So, about the number seven, uh, the technology and the, the good use of the different technology, technology and the programs, the, the computer programs, the different apps, apps, the, the different new apps, Mm -hmm. What else? Fatima, number seven. Yes, the number seven. Um, they, the generation Y is have ability in, in technology. And the uh, and the number X don't have ability for technology. For this reason, I think a specific trait to Generation Y is the technology, the ability for technology. It's my answer. Yes, that I think it's okay. For example, when when there is a there is a new a new app uh, a new app the the generation the app that so people can understand uh, uh, quickly the 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 new the new app the new system and I think it's about that it's about the technology in the in, in and the new the new different programs and apps and Number eight. Uh, what? How does? How does Generation X rush problem solving? How does? Okay, do you have more questions? If no, I will go to a different room so I can continue helping other people. Um, well, we are in the... In this the... question is, ¿Cómo aprovecha? ¿Cómo yeah. aprovecha la generación X para res la, la resolución de problemas? Correct. Okay. That's right. Mm -hmm. Holman, que dijo que era poses. 
both of Sis. Oops. Approach. Or uh, solve. Approach or solving. Say the paragraph, say the generation X. Um, Hello, guys. I'm sorry that I just left a different room, but I was like, you were asking about question number eight. Is that correct? Yes. Oh, yes. So I was just saying before that, like, como la generación X eh, se enfoca en resolver los problemas. That's actually mm -hmm. what happened. Approach is not aprovechar, it's eh, enfocarse en. All right, so and then people, we have Adriana here in the group, so she can also participate, at least for the last two questions, all right? So you can ask her this question, maybe she has an answer for you. Adriana, how does Generation X approach? Problem solving. Well, eight, right? Yes. Correct. Okay, generation X. Hmm. Um, I think th this is about how they deal with problems, right? Yes. Okay. Mm, I think that they, they are more like reflective about the problems and try to to think how they uh, how is the better way to act about the problems that they are trying to resolve. And maybe generation Y is a little bit more like a like to to take the uh, decisions in uh, in the moment, for example, and like try to make a improved decision. Mm -hmm. So I think that, that maybe that the main difference about how they resolve problems. Okay, good. So that's <laughs> Yes. How? Have have good have good skills to manage difference difference uh, homeworks. Uh, have the skills and the ability to manage a uh, different situations and the experience the experience too the experience do a uh, better better person a better worker the experience and the, the, the ability to 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 manage okay uh -huh. Okay. 
I think I think that is the is the the ability to 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 uh to manage the different problems and the the experience the experience with different situations uh help to 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 have experience to to handle hand to handling different different situations and the the responsibility the generation that that people I I think is more responsible is more serious in this in this situation have more more solutions have a good attitude because the attitude is very important in 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 uh, in the in the problems and in the different situations to 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 solving Yes, I agree. The generation X uh, have more uh, skills for solving for uh, problem solving and and have the the ability for manage people. And yeah. Good, good, good. Excellent. So, people, I can see that you're doing very good. I will just go to a different room so you can finish the activity. And in a moment, we are going to go back to the main session. Okay? Thank you. Continue, please. Continue. <laughs> and next question, <laughs> number nine. What values are important to Generation X? Changing says, they have sociality. Your value, the Generation X is stability, loyalty in the workplace. Yes, in the question nine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, number 10. The number 10 in the Spanish. Que atributos comunes tienden la generación X y la generación Y en el lugar de trabajo? Lo que tienen en común ambas generaciones en el lugar de trabajo. Mm -hmm. um, quiero ver, let me see. Ah, in the paragraph first. Mm -hmm. Commons, commons attributes, commons, common, commons. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Mm, maybe uh, entrepreneur entre, entre spirit. Ability? No, spirit. Okay. What do you think? Entrepreneur spirit? Creativity? Maybe? Yes, personal skills. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm 
in your area? Area. Yes. Areas. Area. Area. Like with the E sound. Area. Area. Hello, hello. More questions? Uh, adaptation. Adaptation, you mean? Adaptation to the new technologies. Ah, you can say the ability to adapt to, to new technology. Hello? Yes, yes. Okay, great. Okay, very good. We're going to stop right here so we can go back to the main station and we can uh, share the answers, okay? Okay. Okay, coach. Welcome back, everybody. So let's see here. We're waiting for everybody else to join the class. Everybody is upset. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember the song? <laughs> I do. I do. That's why I was laughing. So I remember that song. It's crazy, son. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it actually has a good rhythm and it gives you good energy. Yeah. All right, so let me share this here quickly. All right, excellent. So let me share the screen again. Perfect, there you have it, all right? So those were the questions that we were practicing in the breakout rooms. By the way, let me congratulate you because you were doing a really good job trying to discuss your point of view, et cetera, right? And I really liked this activity because you were talking and discussing the things in English, right? So congratulations and thank you for participating in the activity. Now, um, we are going to go through the questions again and I would like you to please share the answers you and your partner were able to agree with after having some time for discussing them. All right, so I need a volunteer, please. Volunteer for the first question. Question number one, who's my volunteer? Yes? Just one person, please. What are generation, generation X and generation Y often, often referring to us? Thank you, Erica. Can you help me with the answer as well? If let me check it in the paragraph, it says Generation X and Generation Y also know as millennials. There you go. All right, in the Generation X, it says Generation X and Generation Y. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. So, uh, when it says like what are Generation X and Generation Y often referred to as? It's just like this one, all right? Just to get confused. You're, you are right uh, when it says like Generation Y, also known as millennials. That will be perfect. But in this case, it's saying Generation X and Generation um, Y. And if you can read in the first paragraph, it says Generation X and Generation Y, I'm sorry, Generation Y, comma, also known as millennials, comma, again, 
are two distinct groups in the modern workforce. That was actually the answer. Two distinct groups in the modern workforce. You got it, Erica? Yes, got it. You're right. Thank you. All right. You're very welcome. All right. But also you were you were also right. But if the question is, for example, what, uh, what is generation Y often referred to as? So then it would definitely be millennials, right? But thank you for trying. So Erica, can you do me a last favor and help me again choosing the next person? Yes. Ivan Petrovich. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Number two. So it's gonna be question number one. Number two. Yeah, sorry. Number two. What are some trends associated with Generation X in the workplace? Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, I think the 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 difference ability and uh, and the in the manage multiplex uh, tax simultaneously, so simul simultaneously. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You mentioned some of them, that's correct. So task simultaneously, but there also was problem solving skills, adaptability, uh -huh. the ability uh -huh. to manage multiple tasks simultaneously. So yes, you mentioned some of them, but there were more as well. Thank you. You got the correct answer. Ivan, who's the next person? Okay, let me see the victims. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mr. Aguilar. Okay. Mr. Aguilar. <laughs> Number three. Number three, exactly. Did you say Mr. Aguilar? I thought it was a boy. I'm sorry, uh -huh. Fatima. Oh, oh, I don't. <laughs> All right. So, what, do, what, do, what do you say, Mr. No, well, I see Mr. is boy, is right. And ladies is miss mirror. No, it, no. It, it, it depends on, on, on the situation here. All right. So uh, Fatima, I'm going to ask you a personal question just to provide the correct example here. Are you single? Yes. Okay. So in that case, you are going to be Mrs. Aguilar. She's a single, right? Because it's, I'm sorry, I said Miss Aguilar. Miss Aguilar. Miss Aguilar. Uh, because you're single. Miss Aguilar. Mm -hmm. If Fatima were married, so she would be Mrs. Aguilar because oh. she's married. But in this case, she's single. It's going to be Miss Aguilar. So, Miss Aguilar, please, question number three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What strange do Generation X individuals pose? Process. Process. Uh -huh. Process. Mm -hmm. What are the strengths that Generation X possess? Tell me. Um, the Generation X have ethic and yes. reliance. Resilience. 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 Yes. Correct. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, basically that's the answer. You did it wonderfully. All right, so Miss Aguilar, tell me who is the next person. Um, Lucy. Lucy, Lucy, are you online, Lucy? Hello, Lucy. Lucy, Lucy. I guess you might choose. You might have to choose a different person, Fatima. Ruth. Thank you. Isela? Okay. The number five. Yes, please. Or the number. Uh, no, we go with the number four. Number four. Okay. Number four, which is what are some notable characteristics of Generation Y? Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Adapt to new technologies. Adapt to new technologies. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And what else? The no, em, embrace ability to embrace change and quickly adapt to new technologies. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Uh, what is the pronunciation and entrepreneurial spirit? Excuse me? What is the pronuncia pronunciation? Pronunciation? Entrepreneurial uh -huh. spirit, entrepreneurial spirit in the uh, paragraph. Paragraph number three, you said? Yes. Generation Y individuals are often characterized by their entrepreneurial spirit. Entrepreneurial. Oh, entrepreneurial. Entrepreneurial, sorry. Entrepreneurial. Entrepreneurial. Correct. Entrepreneurial, yes. We actually and collaborate approach to work. All right, excellent, thank you. All right, so that will be it. Thank you very much, I truly really appreciate it. So you were doing a very good job. What about the next person? Can you please tell me what's the next person? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesse or Adrian? All right, Adriana. Okay, and number, number five, right? Correct. Okay. Number five, which is what makes generation Y stand out when it comes to technology. Um, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> Okay, um, about generation Y, uh, we have, for example, that's something that we were discussing now on some last, uh, some in other class about the tech savvy and uh, mm -hmm. about the, the this generation and the rivalries of the technology and because they are like digital natives and that's the main point that the generation web have all right great excellent i guess something we can um, agree on this one it's that yeah maybe generation y it's definitely the expert in technology right so uh, but also generation x they are doing their best because they have a skill which is very important. A skill, sorry, that is very important, which is uh, adaptability. So even though they have to face something new, they learn how to do it, and at the end they ended up, um, you know, knowing how to use it. Right. So yeah, definitely yes. Thank you for that one. So let's go quickly to number six. Who's the next person, please? Um, Vanessa. <laughs> Who? Vanessa, you said. Yes, Vanessa. Okay. Thank you, Vanessa. Okay, number seven. Number seven, all right. Or number six. No, number six, actually. What kind of work environment does Generation Y excel in? Hmm. What kind of work environment does Generation X excel in? Yeah, I think it could be any place. Talk that they can adapt in every situation. So the work environment it could be different and, and can can work uh, about pressure and stress. So I think they 
can work in any in any environment. I think. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. But can somebody else tell me if that is actually what the paragraph says? Mm -hmm. Like, for example, Vanessa, um, I want you to please read the line number four in the paragraph number three. After it says creativity and collaborative approach to work, and then I need to continue with that part. Can you do it, Vanessa? Where? The paragraph number three in the line number four. O sea, donde está diciendo, teacher. Paragraph three, the paragraph. The paragraph I sent to the group. Mm -hmm. Paragraph three, yes. This is one of the generation Y born between the early 80s and 90s tends to display impressive. The line number four. They thrive an environment that encourages teamwork and provide opportunities for personal growth. Thank you. That specific part, it's the answer for the question number six. All right. So because the question says, uh, remember that Excel in is just like cuando ellos destacan, right? And uh, that's what it says right there. So they actually do it when they encourage team, I mean, in environments that encourage teamwork and provide opportunities for personal growth. Thank you, Vanessa, for helping me with that question. Who's the next person, please? Hello? Vanessa, who's the next person? Mm, I don't know. Joelman. Joelman. All right, Joelman. Thank you, Vanessa. Hello, Holman. Uh, uh, Question I'm number sorry. seven. What is one specific trait that generation Y it's not for? What is one specific trait that generation is not for? The can you can you help me with the of course of course of course of course all right so if we go to that one to the paragraph again so you can see the paragraph here one second okay it says right here this one that's the answer can you read it gentlemen please hello hi um there they they are uh, as 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 lies in their ability to embrace change and quickly adapt to new technology. Thank you very much. Excellent. So we can go back right now to um the previous one here. What it says, let me see. The question number, what is it? Uh, nine, right? Question nine. So, oh, number, sorry, question eight. So how does Generation X approach to problem solving? A problem solving, Generation X, so that will be, what is it?
that's actually around here. It's right here. There you go. Excellent. So can someone help me to read that part so we can finish quickly? Hello? Meet the show. All right. Thank you very much. Generation X tends to possess excellent problems on their skills, adaptability, and the ability to manage multiple tasks simultaneously. All right, thank you very much for this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then we go here where it says question number nine, so we can finish this quickly right now. All right, what values are important to Generation X when it comes to work? What values are important to Generation X when it comes to work? So we can check this one, Generation X, what is it? Here it is, can somebody else help me to... Um, Check this one right here. The answer is here. What is it, people? Can someone help me read it? Nelson, Fatima, Adriana, Hector. When we stability, teacher, and legally uh -huh. in the workplace, Thank you very much. That's basically the last one. And the last one right here, what common attributes do Generation X and Generation Y have in the workplace? What are the common attributes that they have in the workplace? Mm -hmm. If it's this one, let me just check it here with blue. Right. Yeah, what are like the common things they go? Adaptability and the ability to manage multiple tasks simultaneously. All right, take a look at this one. And embrace change and quickly adapt to new technologies. So it will be here, what? The adaptability is actually the question, the land, the answer for the last question right here, because you can see quickly adapt and the adaptability. So that's basically the, the answer for the question number 10, where it says like, what's the skill they have in common, right? Which is adaptability. Thank you everybody for participating in today's activities. I truly, I truly appreciate that one. Once again, I congratulate you because you were doing an amazing job in the breakout rooms, participating and discussing the answers for those questions. I hope you have um, um, learned something new about this topic that we have been discussing for a long time already, but we always learn something different, right? It, that's the purpose, right? So, if you don't have any questions, people, before I let you go, do you have any questions? No questions. No, no questions. questions. No questions. All right. So if that's the case, I will let you go right now. And I will see you tomorrow. Please be punctual. So do your homework. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for joining the class. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye-bye, Carlita. Get well soon.